I have never in all my years as Dr. Squish felt anything as soft as these squishies, ever. What are the most viral, hard to find squishies out there? Let's take a look. Don't wait for tomorrow. It's Dr. Squish. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be looking at squishies. I mean, that's why you come here. I am Dr. Squish. That means I'm supposed to know about all things squishy. Today we're getting viral. Uh, your for you pages and algorithms and all of that may not look like mine since I am Dr. Squish. All of those for you pages and home screens and all of that tend to be full of squishies. So when I say these are viral, I mean this is what I see over and over and over again. All over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over YouTube short. Everywhere I'm finding these viral squishies and they're hard to find. I don't see these at stores anywhere that I find. So I had to go on a hunt and I had to search them up and I got them. Every single solitary one of them. All of these squishies have millions of views on every video that I see. So let's take a look at the most viral, hardest to find squishies out there right now and see if I think they're worth it. All right, so where did I find these? I went searching for them and I found them in places that were hard to find, like AliExpress, Shein, and Timu. And I think some of these places are a bit, uh, maybe iffy to shop at. My point is you may have to go to a lot of different sites to find these specific squishies. You may need buying services to buy them from overseas. Kind of hard to find them, but I got all of them. Let's see what they look like. We're starting off with cheese. You're like, where's the cheese? I know, it's clear. Clear cheese. The funny thing is I got not only this clear cheese, but also a baby clear cheese. <gasps> oh, it's so sticky. Oh, sticky cheese. Oh, I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over it. Look at this glorious, beautiful clear cheese. Oh yeah. It's got holes. <laughs> it's super squishy. It is like a giant mochi squishy and it's totally clear. It won't be after I put my grubby hands all over it. It's really sticky, like super, it's got kind of a concave bottom to it. Oh, it's already collecting gunk from my hands, I suppose. I like it, squishy cheese. <laughs> this gets like a seven out of 10. It's kind of, oh, it doesn't smell great, but it's not got a super strong smell the way they sometimes do. Seven out of 10 for the clear cheese. I don't know that this one is worth like getting shipped from overseas. Okay, this one took me forever to find. I actually had to go on Instagram and Facebook and ask my followers, can you help me find it? The only place I found it was on AliExpress and I'd never bought anything at AliExpress before. Look at this toast! This is one of those things where it doesn't quite look as good as the picture. I'm gonna try and put a picture up to see what it looked like. And then this is what I got. It's first off, it's way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. And the rainbow just looks kind of ridiculous in there. I, I don't know. This was the most unique squishy I have ever seen and I really wanted to try it out. It doesn't live up to his picture already. So here we go. <gasps> okay, it looks like jelly. Like, I don't know. Oh, it's also sticky. Now it's not as clear as it looks. It's very green. So it's got like a back that's really shiny, just like the cheese was, but then the top is very textured. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. <gasps> okay, <laughs> it feels so weird. It also has the same smell as the cheese. It's kind of made of the same thing as that cheese was, but the top has got like bubbly texture to it. Oh, it feels so neat. It feels so neat. It's solid, it's, it's, it's like, all these are kind of like mochi squishies. They're solid all the way through, right? Oh yeah. Oh gosh, that's, oof. So this is the one that I was the most hopeful for, but it seems to me like it doesn't live up to how gorgeous it looked on the pictures. I also don't think this one was worth ordering from overseas. So this one gets like less than the cheese. Six and a half out of 10, I don't like this. This is, the integrity is not that great on this squishy. Next up is a goofy squishy. It's a melon, but look at its face. Okay, okay, we've seen these before. These kind of popping eye squishy. <laughs> its face is so stupid. Ready? Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, yes. Okay, so not only do his eyes pop, but they open and go different dire <laughs> directions. <laughs> well, I love him. You don't have one. 
I don't think. Maybe you do have one. I have no idea. That's super funny. He gets like an 8 out of 10. He is like your basic eye pop and squish, but I've never seen one that does like that. He's hilarious to me. Time to stop the video and ask you to subscribe to Dr. Squish if you have not done so already. And if you unsubscribe, please consider subscribing back. I will, I will try to do better in the future. Now, what I have next, these are probably one of the most viral squishies I have for the day. And it's kind of a set of squishies. And they are these. They're pinch family. It took me ages to find these. I don't really understand who and what these are. I have never heard of these before social media, but they are these really rubbery looking squishies. All the packages come with kind of decorations and glitters and things inside. And they're so insanely squishy. And some of them are flocked. What? What? This is probably what I am most excited to open today is uh, the Pinch Family Squishies. Okay, this is my first impression of the Pinch Family Squishies. It has a lot of pom-poms in the bag. Oh my gosh, it's fuzzy. The flocking does come off. I've actually seen them make these in some of the viral videos and they're taking a sticky squishy, a lot like this sticky mochi cheese was, and they're putting it in flocking like this, so it just sticks to it. So it's not glued on, it's just kind of stuck there. So the flocking does come off. Oh God, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I don't love that the flocking comes off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is one of the squishiest squishies I've ever felt. And I've been like reviewing squishies for the past seven years. It gets a 10 out of 10 on the softness scale. Like, I don't think I've ever felt a squishy this squishy. It is exactly what you want toe beans to feel like. But this messy flocking coming off, that's pretty rough. So that's really going to take this down to like an 8.5 out of 10 because that's kind of gross. All right, let's open another one of the Pinch family. So this one is a waffle and it doesn't look like it's flocked, right? So that's why I wanted to open one that's not flocked like the cat paws. Uh, this one is just covered in like deco glitter, deco confetti, beads. This looks like what I would put in slime to me. These are so nice. Okay, waffle. Ah, it's so good, okay. It's covered in glitter. It actually looks like they took this sticky mochi waffle and just dipped it in some glitter. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna say something a little controversial <laughs> because I know how some of you are about glitter, right? Like I know how people are about glitter. Glitter doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't, I have dealt with so much glitter. This doesn't bug me. It doesn't bother me. I don't hate that it's getting everywhere. All you need is a little dustpan and you sweep it right back up and put it right inside the pouch that seals. This gets a 10 out of 10. It's gorgeous. It does get everywhere. FYI, if you hate this, you're not gonna rate it as high as I did, but look at the squishiness. Squishiness on point. So squishy. I do get it though. I get if you hate this. I understand. I, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. It just doesn't bother me. If you hate glitter, you're going to not love these. Um, you would rate it much lower. But for me, that, that gets a 10 out of 10. I have never in all my years as Dr. Squish felt anything as soft as these squishies. Ever. Let's open up the donut and see what we think. This is a pretty pink donut. It looks like it's got a lot of the same stuff that the waffle did. Uh oh. There's a hole in this bag. Oh, oh it's actually a, a like a charm in here, like a cabochon. Look, it's a little donut. Cute. Whoever is creating these is doing such a good job. It's got, it's a pink donut. It, it is like a silicone mochi squish. <laughs> so sticky, it's just picking all the stuff up itself. So sticky, it comes with so much glitter and then it's got like a white icing on top. Oh yeah, babe, that's so cool. I like it so much. This one gets nine out of 10. Again, so much glitter. This one's sticky enough that it's kind of picking up the glitter on its own. Uh, yeah, I like these a lot. I don't think these are like widely produced. I think whoever Pinch Family is, is, is like a small squishy operation. They're not making a lot of these. This is so neat. All right, let's just do one more of those since we've opened a bunch of them. 
This one kind of looks weird to me. It's got a lot going on, like a lot. So crunchy, listen. That's a lot of crunch. Okay, look at all of the deco pieces in here. Holy cow. Okay, <laughs> this little glove, this little mitten is totally covered in glitter. It feels the same texture as the top of that toast, the rainbow toast. They're like the exact same texture. I don't really like this one. And the glitter is coming off way more. Like it's not sticking as much to this texture, which is weird. It looked like it was covered in glitter. I don't know. I don't like the shape. Shape's not cute. I don't know. This one gets like a six out of 10. It's not, it's not as good. Don't go for the, the mitten. It's not a, it's not a good squishy. It's weird. Let's go ahead and open the rest of my squishies. I have a few more. Uh, this has been crazy finding all these viral squishies and I found even more that are like on their way. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment and let me know and I'll do another viral squishy video. The next stuff that I have is like all about toast. We're starting with this one, but you'll see what I mean about it. It's, it's all toast from here, folks. Today, it's like I have all the same kind. This must be the new squishy silicone gel squish. It's really sticky. This one is like a bunny on toast. I don't know if that's supposed to be cheese or whipped cream or something else. This is exactly like the clear cheese at the beginning. It's just um, bunny toast. So this one's a bit boring comparatively. The strange thing is they don't have the strongest smell. Sometimes these squishy smell awful. Look how sticky it is. This is like flesh colored toast. I don't know. This one's pretty boring to me. This one gets like a five, four, four out of 10. I'm going to go four out of 10, I think. like slime. Let's look at my last squishies of the day and you'll see what I meant by it's all toast from here. Toast, toast. <laughs> Some of the most viral squishies I've seen lately are these toasts. So I ordered a whole bunch of them to check them out. One that I've seen everywhere are these cotton toasts. These are so cool. They all have like a plastic sheet on top and when you peel it off, they're sticky, but these are like slow rise foam squishies. So I got the strawberry cotton toast and this one's in a like a plastic baggie. But then these two, I got one that's supposed to be like Oreo toast and mint, I don't know. But then there was also this one, and this is an eye bloom, which you guys know is a really like famous Japanese brand of premium squishy. And it says mousse bread, like they look almost identical. So I don't know if this is just like a knockoff. And then I found this one, which is clearly a knockoff, toast cake. All right, let's first open one of the cotton toasts. We're gonna go with this. I can tell you just from touching the back, holy cow, it is so soft. Wait, it smells nice. It smells exactly like every other eye bloom or Japanese scented squishy. They all have kind of like a butter maple smell. Oh my God, it's soft. But do you see what I'm saying? It's got a like a sheet on it. Let's open her up. Okay, I peeled the sheet off and let's see why it had it. Ready? Oh my gosh. Holy cow. It's not bouncing back when this, this is what we mean when we say slow rise. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's so good, so good. Cotton toast, 10 out of 10. This is a beautiful squishy. So good, that's what it means by good for ASMR. So this gets 10 out of 10. Gorgeous, gorgeous squishy. I love this so much. And I assume all of these, these ones are the same, the cotton toast. It's still not bounced back after, like it, it's, Slow, this is 100% authentic slow rise. 10 out of 10, best squishy of the day so far. I think this is like a knockoff of that, this toast cake. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, it doesn't have the sticky, like plastic on the sticky part. It smells exactly the same. They all have the same smell. Let's see how soft it is. Oh, it's really nice. So this feels like the other one, it just doesn't have the sticky top. Oh, it's a really, really good toast squish. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> Tell us what you really think. It's good. Uh, this gets like a nine out of 10 in terms of slow rising squishy. It's, this is a basic 
slow rise toast squish. I've had a lot of others similar to this and this one's really good. All right. So the last one I'm going to open today is this uh, I Bloom Moose Squish, uh, Moose Bread Squish, because I want to compare it to the cotton, guys, the cotton toast is still not fully risen yet. Slowest slow rise ever. So the cotton toast is really good. Let's see if the moose bread is just as good. Now I'm assuming so. This is an I Bloom Squishy. These are kind of top tier premium squishies. So let's see how it is. Let me give it a sniff. <gasps> it's got a different smell. It smells like mint, like really strongly of mint. I can tell on the back, oh, it's going to be soft. It's so sticky that this isn't like simple. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's so good. Guys, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I actually think that the cotton toast is better than the eye bloom and that's unexpected and this is clearly an amazing quality high high quality slow rise squishy it does have the sticky top this one smells like mint uh this one gets like a a 9.8 out of 10 it's really good it's really good i think that if i had not ordered this one right I would have given this one a 10 out of 10 this is so good it's not as sticky so you're not getting the ASMR as much. This one, the cotton toast is more substantial. It's heavier. It's more substantial. It's a little slower rising. It's so, they're both really good. 9.8 out of 10. I, I, I think if you can get your hands on this one, you'll be happy with it. And if you can get the cotton toast, it's even better. So Okay, this video ended up super interesting to me because some of the things that I didn't expect to love as much as I did, I thought were amazing. And some of the things that I thought were gonna be so good were kind of disappointing, which that's always the way that it goes. You leave me a comment and please tell me which of these things do you think was the coolest thing I opened and which one would you like to try the most? I hope you guys have had fun. Please subscribe to Dr. Squish and I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.